सो गुड इवनिंग ऑल वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन द लास्ट क्लास एक्चुअली वी हैव डिस्कसड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन लिमिट्स टुडे आल्सो द वी विल कंटिन्यू द प्रॉब्लम्स सो सो फॉर अवर रेगुलर सब्सक्राइबर्स आर जॉइनिंग नाउ एंड टुडे सम न्यू सर टुमारो मॉर्निंग टॉपिक ओके स्टिल नॉट एट कम्प्लीटेड दैट आई विल डिसाइड ओके ज्योति संजय रानी एंड मधुरिमा जॉइंट गोपश्री रामाकृष्ण एंड गुरु राजू गुरु राज इज न्यू एस नेक्स्ट समीर ओके अश्वर रेड्डी संदीप कुमार कटका महेश मधुरिमा ओके नेक्स्ट सुधा उचिका जरीफ अहमद कृष्णवंशी कुलवंत वीरस्वामी कृष्णमूर्ति हरे कृष्णा बालू डॉक्टर रवि सुनीता उज्ज्वल सिंह सो फार दीज आर जॉइंड प्रीति लावण्या नेक्स्ट बिलविका प्रभावती प्रभावती आर न्यू आई थिंक सो अभिषेक खाटम Prasanna, yes, you are regular. You are Abdul Majid, Ankit Charan, Gopasri, Archana, Sai Ritesh. Okay, Viru, Surya Prakash, hi, Surya Prakash. Pandu Naik, Lokesh Chandra, yes, Akhil. Okay, Anand, Sandeep. Indira Reddy. Next, Akila Surya Prakash. Okay, Surya Prakash. Sushma. Sandeep Kumar. Okay, Ven Ven. Okay, now let us start the problems today. Sri Kant. Okay. So any newcomers are there? so you need to subscribe okay so what is the question number so yesterday question number anybody okay question number limits 24th question okay thank you thank you thank you so 24th question right thank you thank you thank you deepthi thank you madhurima chandana right limit extends to infinity okay sin of root over x plus 1 minus sin root x equals to this is the question first option 2 second option minus 2 third option Zero. Fourth option is one. So this is the today's first question. Okay. So good evening all. Good evening all. Naga Lakshmi. Jana Priya. New. You are also new. Okay. Limit extends to infinity. Sine of root over x plus one minus sine of root x. so that means uh, this can be done sin c minus sin d formula so let us say this is c this is d apply sin c minus sin d formula what is sin c minus sin d formula sin c minus sin d equals to 2 cos of 
c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2 am i correct okay so now this given expression or given limit we can write limit extends to infinity this we can write 2 cos of root of x plus 1 plus root x by 2 and next sin of c minus d root x plus 1 minus root x upon 2 this we will get it. So, or when will you do a video on Anuradha Garu? I think you are the first class to you. Okay. Message stop chain and please. We cannot visible question. Where? Okay, please we cannot visible question. Right. So, now take two common limit extends to infinity we can write this is cos of root of x plus 1 plus root x upon 2 and here one interesting factor you need to remember we need to rationalize the numerator so that can be rationalized as c that means, separately I will do root of x plus 1 minus root x by 2. So, this can be rationalized like this root of x plus 1 plus root x by root of x plus 1 plus root x. See this one we will get it now a minus b into a plus b we get a square minus b square root x plus 1 over square x plus 1 minus root x square x by 2 times you will be getting root of x plus 1 plus root x this x x gets cancelled 1 by so that means instead of this we can write 1 by 2 times root of x plus 1 plus root x so now one interesting factor as x tends to infinity root of x plus 1 also tends to infinity, infinity plus infinity, infinity itself only. That means, infinity is a very real number. So, whenever that is a real number for all real values here, this cos value is a takes finite value. So, that means actually here cos lies between for example, say this value is equal to theta. So, minus 1 less than or equal to cos theta, cos theta less than or equal to 1 that means the value of this cos oscillate between minus 1 and 1 and it, it attains finite value. So, it at attains a finite value. So, that may be finite value only, but whereas here see infinity plus infinity. So, infinity plus infinity is infinity only. So, that means actually here we get 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity means this becomes 0. So, that means 2 multiplied by some finite value multiplied by this will be sin 0 because 1 by infinity is 0. So, that means 2 multiplied by finite value into 0. So, 0 into something you get 0. So, that means, third option is the right option. Which book you are following please tell. So, first Krishna Garu actually you seems to be a, so now the professor I think so, uh, your photo, your DP, uh, right thank you. Next 25th question. Twenty fifth question. Right. 
limit extends to infinity x cos of pi by 8 x and next sin of pi by 8 x equals to first option pi second option right pi by 2. So, third option is pi by 8, fourth option is pi by 4. So, now here see limit extends to infinity x cos of pi by 8 x sin of pi by 8 x. Okay, let us try our results first. See, uh, first this can be written like this, this problem now. Solution limit extends to infinity cos of pi by 8 x multiplied by sin of pi by 8 x upon this 1 by x write down. If you simplify again x comes in the new numerator. So, one thing you do it now here multiply and divide by 2. So, what do you get now here? Limit extends to infinity. This can be numerator can be rewritten as 2 sin of pi by 8 x cos pi by 8 x multiplied by upon 2 by x okay, or 2 into 1 by x. So, we have one formula 2 sin a cos a. So, which can be written as sin 2 a. Okay. This is the formula we have okay. with the help of this formula. So, now we can write this is equal to this 1 by 2 is taken common out 1 by 2 limit extends to infinity. This is 2 sin a, this is a, this is b sorry a only this is a. 2 sin a cos a is equal to sin 2 times a that means sin of 2 into actually you will get like this 2 into pi by 8 x that will be sin uh, pi by 4 x upon 1 by x. So, let us say this 1 by x is equal to theta. For example, very interesting factor as x tends to infinity the theta tends to 1 by infinity means 0. So, now this problem we can change as like this limit theta tends to 0 sin of pi by 4 times theta by theta. I already explained one shortcut to you see what is the shortcut means limit theta tends to 0 sin a theta by theta is a. So, that is why we will be getting this will be pi by 4 that means half times already half is there into pi by 4 whose value is equal to pi by 8. So, third option is the right option. Yes, 1 by x is equal to 0 only we have used here. Right.
I think in the screen may you will get it shortly. So, 26th question limit extends to infinity x minus log x by x plus log x this is the question is it sufficient for m sets r screen is not clear ok ok I think there is a problem here is clear only itself only. So, now first option is 1, second option is minus 1, third option is 0, fourth option is 2. Okay, limit extends to infinity x minus log x by x plus log x. Here C we have limit extends to infinity you remember this formula log x by x equals to 1 or you can apply Elas Pedals rule and you will get it now this one you remember this one. So, that means from numerator take x common from denominator take x common then what do we get let us see solution here x is taken from uh, common from nu numerator we get 1 minus log x by x or log x upon x. So, in the similar manner take x common from the denominator x into 1 minus sorry 1 plus log x by x even if you open the brackets you get same thing itself only limit extends to infinity here x x gets cancelled we have. So, this equals to 1 minus g, g sorry this is uh, let us uh, do it log x by x log x differentiation is 1 by x this will be 1 sorry 0 you remember this is 0 ok. So, that means now you can remember 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0. So, answer is 1 first option is the right option. So, once again I repeat limit extends to infinity log x by x 0 you remember that one. So, then this problem very easily we can solve it. Okay, and one more thing you remember limit x approaches to infinity even 1 by x also 0 even 1 by x square 1 by x cube 1 by x power 4 also 0. Twenty seventh problem. Twenty seventh problem. Limit extends to infinity x square plus a x plus a square root of minus root over x square plus a square equals to first option is 0, second option is a by 2, third option is minus a by 2, fourth option is a this is the question by differentiating numerator and denominator we can get the answer yes you can apply Elas Pedals rule you can apply Elas Pedals rule no problem you can do it 
right. So, now limit extends to infinity the root over x square plus a x plus a square minus root of x square plus a square is equal to. So, now it had better to actually uh, now rationalize the numerator. So, with the help of root of x square plus a x plus a square plus root of x square plus a square. Okay. After that exactly correct what you said x square we need to take common right. Let us do it now. So, now the solution follows like this limit extends to infinity x square plus a x plus a square root over minus x square plus a square root over multiplied by x square plus a x plus a square root over plus root of x square plus a square rationalizing factor and upon root of x square plus a x plus a square plus root of x square plus a square. Okay. So, that means, now if you multiply these two so, that will be in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So, that can be written a square minus b square form. So, that is equal to we get now x square plus a x plus a square and minus x square and minus a square upon you will be getting this value. So, x square plus a x plus a square root plus root of x square plus a square now having been limit applied here that is limit x approaches to infinity. Here x square x square gets cancelled and a square a square gets cancelled. So, now we have we have so, this equals to limit x approaches to infinity or x extends to infinity a x by. So, now in this one take out x square common. If you take x square common, we have 1 plus a by x plus a square by x square root plus here also take out x square common we have 1 plus a square by x square under root. Okay. So, now the next step we get it now this equal to a x upon here square root of x square is x root of 1 plus a x plus a square by x square. Here also square root of x square is x, x is taken common out and plus root of 1 plus a square by x square. So, limit x tends to infinity. Now, x x gets cancelled we have. Now, as x tends to infinity as x tends to infinity that implies this a by x a square by x square becomes tends to 0. So, this becomes 0, this becomes 0 and this becomes 0. So, we have now a by root 1 plus root 1 that is a by 2 is the answer. So, second option is the right option. Right. 
so that means whenever this kind this kind of problem is given simple technique you can remember x coefficient by 2 answer is here you can remember like this tip required limit is equal to required limit is equal to coefficient of x by 2 here coefficient of x is a so answer is a by 2 that is all this is easy tip you can remember no no sir by taking x common in common x square common infinity into 0 0 no ok please send me morning classes Ashwini Mariala ok right What is the question number? What is the question number? What is the question number? Okay, I will check it. Twenty seventh. Twenty eighth. 28th question ok for a greater than 1 then limit x approaches to infinity a power x minus a power minus x upon a power x plus a power minus x equals to. So, now the first option is 1, second option is 1 by 2, third option is 1 by 3, fourth option is minus 1 by 15. Sir, if you follow you are regularly Garimela Amruta, you are newly joined, can we score? So, if you are regular I can sure, so just today only you joined, am I correct or not? a greater than 1 then limit extends to infinity a power x minus a power minus x upon a power x plus a power minus x. So, now here we have one condition if a greater than 1 then sorry a greater than 1 as x approaches to infinity, the a power x is also approaches to infinity, but whereas 1 by a power x approaches to 0 that we can confirm. So, that means now, so better you do one thing. Uh, now, divide both numerator and denominator by a power x. So, this we can write like this now limit x approaches to infinity or you can take out a power x common also 1 minus a power minus x by a power x upon in the denominator also take out a power x common 1 plus a power minus x by 
a power x. So, this a power x a power x gets cancelled. So, now this can be written limit extends to infinity this we can write 1 minus a power m formula we have a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n we can use this formula this is equal to minus x minus x minus 2 x by 1 plus a power minus 2 x. So, for our convenience we can write 1 minus 1 by a power x whole square can I write like this that is nothing but 1 1 by a power 2 x upon 1 plus this also we can write 1 by a power x whole square here limit we have x tends to infinity. So, now 1 by a power x is 0. So, this becomes 0 this becomes 0. So, we have 1 minus 0 square 0 1 plus 0 square 0. So, answer is 1. So, that means first option is the right option. Ruchita, uh, you did not actually attend my the for the uh, first class. No, by C D rule we cannot apply here because the C D rule uh, in order to apply C D rule we should we need we need actually here uh, two ratios. When we compare the two ratios we can do it. Very good evening Chandu. Thank you. So, 29th problem, 29th problem, okay, no problem, no problem. Limit x approaches to infinity 2 x plus 7 sin x upon 4 x plus 3 cos x equals to sir my net was problem in the morning which chapter you tell me in the morning uh, Vaishnavi actually in the morning actually I dealt uh, inverse trigonometric functions any shortcut methods are because time is not sufficient to do problems. So, how many shortcuts you can apply Anita? You are the first class I think so. Bhumika Reddy, you are also new. Okay. First option is 1, increase your volume. Second option is minus 1, third option is 1 by 2, fourth option is minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, limit x approaches to infinity 2 x plus 7 sin x upon 4 x plus 3 cos x. Here we need to here we need to discuss actually two concepts let me discuss two concepts here one concept is actually limit extends to infinity sin x by x is what and limit x approaches to infinity what is cos x by x if we address these two concepts this problem easily we can solve so now let us solve it now here see first limit x approaches to infinity sin x by x let us have a discussion here. So, limit x approaches to infinity 
this can be written 1 by x multiplied by sin x. Always sin x and cos x are called oscillating functions. What do we call oscillating functions means the sin x and cos x lies between minus 1 comma 1. So, that means it is a actually always remember a finite value, but whereas this 1 by x is 0, 0 into finite value is So, we get 0 that means limit x approaches to infinity sin x by x is equal to 0. In the similar manner limit x approaches to infinity cos x by x also you can write like this limit x approaches to infinity 1 by x multiplied by cos x 0 multiplied by finite value 0. Now, let us come to the problem now here solution let us part the solution here take x common out from the numerator, take common out from x common out from the denominator. So, we get like this x is taken out 2 plus 7 times sin x by x. So, in the similar manner if you take x common from the denominator we get 4 plus 3 cos x by x. So, now limit is applied limit x approaches to infinity x x cancel. Now, tell me what is our answer. So, sin x by x is 0 cos x by x is 0. So, now it is replaced by 0 and it is replaced by 0. So, we get now 2 plus 7 into 0 0 4 plus 3 into 0 0 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. So, third option is the right option. Now, the question number okay, 30, question number 30, 30. Thank you, thank you, Chandana uh, Sanjarani, right. Limit x approaches to infinity 8 mod x plus 3 x 3 mod x 3 mod x minus 2 x first option is 11 second option is 8 third option is 0, fourth option is 1 by 8. This is the question. Dhruv Ansh actually today you joined, am I correct? Yes, right. So, limit x approaches to infinity. 8 mod x plus 3 x by 3 mod x minus 2 x. So, first let us have a discussion on the mod x function. See the mod x is equal to x when x greater than or equal to 0, equal to minus x when x less than 0. Am I correct now? So, x approaches to positive infinity that means x is greater than 0. Therefore, now the mod x is defined as x. Now, the problem becomes like this limit x approaches to infinity 
now this mod x is equal to we can write x this mod x is equal to we can write x so 8x plus 3x upon 3x minus 2x so let it be simplified now so this equals to 11x by x limit x approaches to infinity x x gets cancelled if limit applied to the constant function you get constant only so 11 is the right answer thank you thank you thank you madurima chandana sudha gopasri right jyoti oh, everybody 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 okay sandeep okay now the 31st question limit extends to infinity x plus 1 all to the power of 10 plus x plus 2 all to the power of 10 plus so on dash dash x plus 100 even x plus 20 20 also you may write it no problem all to the power of 10 upon x to the power of 10 plus 10 to the power of 10 equals to okay pavan right arjun okay first first option is 10 second option is 100 third option is 1000 fourth option is the previous videos are available previous videos are available okay that you can watch arichandana right fourth option is 1 right limit x approaches to infinity x plus 1 all to the power of 10 plus x plus 2 all to the power of 10 plus and so on plus x to the power of 100 all to the power of 10 upon x to the power of 10 plus 10 to the power of 10 okay first actually from the first term from the first expansion take x common from the second expansion you need to take x common that means even the last also you need to take x common so first let us write like this now x common we have x plus 1 by x in the first term we can write like this all to the power of 10 am i correct plus in the second term also take x common here in the bracket 1 plus 2 by x all to the power of 10 and plus so on dash dash in the similar manner in the bracket you take out x common 1 plus 100 upon x and all to the power of 10 am i correct upon here in the numerator take x to the power of 10 common we have 1 plus 10 to the power of 10 by x to the power of 10 so that means this is limit x approaches to infinity so interesting factor is actually here x power 10 here also x power 10 last x power 10 you can take out x power 10 common from all the terms if you take x power 10 common you have like this 
so this is 1 sorry so 1 plus 1 by x whole to the power of 10 plus 1 plus 2 by x whole to the power of 10 and so on dash dash plus 1 plus 100 by x whole to the power of 10 you need not expand any term that is all. So, upon here x to the power of 10 into 1 plus 10 to the power of 10 by or 10 by x whole to the power of 10 ok. Limit x approaches to infinity the x to the power of 10 x to the power of 10 gets cancelled here c when x approaches to infinity this 1 by x become 0 2 by x become 0 100 by x become 0 this 10 by x become 0 so we have actually 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 plus so on dash dash 100 times because 100 terms are there by 1 plus 0. So, 1 is multiplied by 100 times means 100 divided by 1 equal to 100. Actually, 1 is multiplied for 100 times means 100, but in the denominator we have 1, 100 by 1 is equal to 100. So, here option is second option. <coughs> see why the binomial theorem is not defined for the negative values. Who said that the, the binomial theorem is not defined for negative values? Even rational index also the binomial theorem can be applicable, but one condition need to be applied. Ruchita remember see the mod x should be less than 1, then even we can define 1 plus x whole to the power of minus 1 and 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1, I think you got it this latter I will explain regarding this one. Definitely I could remember in binomial theorem at that time I will repeat your name also. Okay, thank you, thank you. It is defined. Okay, once again last I will explain once again Hare Krishna do not worry. So, 30 second problem. So, 30 second problem limit. So, date has been extended in Telangana up to May 5th. Have you applied Arjun first of all? Have you applied? First you apply, then date will be announced later. What Mr. Sandeep said exactly correct. I will coincide with Sandeep Kumar statement. Okay limit n tends to infinity three into two to the power of n plus one minus four into phi to the power of n plus one upon five into two to the power of n plus 7 into phi to the power of n equals to first option 
माइनस ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन सेकेंड ऑप्शन ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन थर्ड ऑप्शन इज टेन बाई सेवन फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज माइनस टेन बाई सेवन सर फर्स्ट ईयर रिजल्ट वेन सर भुवन चंद्र यू आर ऑल्सो न्यू ओनली द न्यू यू आर सर आस्किंग दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके डोंट वरी अबाउट द रिजल्ट ओके अर्जुन गुड सजेशन गुड सजेशन वेन विल इट इयर रिजल्ट विल कम ओके अंबिका माइनस ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन ओके सो नाउ लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी थ्री इंटू टू पावर एन प्लस वन माइनस फोर इंटू फाइव पावर एन प्लस वन अपॉन फाइव इंटू टू पावर एन प्लस सेवन इंटू फाइव पावर एन सो हियर so we need to remember actually the first this 3 into 2 power n plus 1 can be written 2 power n into 2 minus 4 into 5 power n into 5 first so we shall write in the numerator like this so in the denominator as it is 5 into 2 power n plus 7 into 5 power n so for example if you observe 2 power n and 5 power n this 5 power n will be generally greater than 2 power n uh, 2 power n so take 5 power n common out from both numerator and denominator n tends to infinity so if you take 5 power n common we have this is 3 into 2 6 multiplied by 2 power n by 5 power n minus 4 into 5 is 20 5 power n is already it has been taken common out so in the similar pattern take out 5 power n common we have 5 into 2 power n by 5 power n plus 7 here limit n tends to infinity so now this we can write now the 5 power n 5 power n gets cancel this we can write 6 into 2 by 5 all to the power of n minus 20 upon 5 times 2 by 5 all to the power of n plus 7 so limit n tends to infinity so i will explain one condition to you one important condition for example if a less than 1 then limit n tends to infinity a to the power of n is equal to 0 this is very very important fact need to be remembered now so here 2 by 5 for example 2 by 5 is a 2 by 5 is a proper fraction that is less than 1 so as n approaches to infinity if you apply a power n is equal to 0 this become 0 this become 0 we have 0 minus 20 by 0 plus 7 whose value is minus 20 by 7 so that means first option is the right option ramanadam you are also new shivashankar no problem no problem okay
थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री प्रॉब्लम ओके थर्टी थ्री प्रॉब्लम लिमिट एंटेंस टू इन्फिनिटी वन बाई एन क्यूब इंटू वन प्लस थ्री प्लस सिक्स प्लस एंड सो ऑन प्लस एन इंटू एन प्लस वन बाई टू फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज जीरो सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज टू थर्ड ऑप्शन इज वन बाय सिक्स फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज वन बाय थ्री दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ओके वन मिनट सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी वन बाई एन क्यूब वन प्लस थ्री प्लस सिक्स प्लस एंड सो ऑन एन इन टू एन प्लस वन बाई टू सो दैट मीन्स हियर सम ऑफ द एन टर्म्स दैट मीन्स एंथ टर्म इज गिवेन सो सम ऑफ द एंथ टर्म्स इज गिवेन that means for example if nth term or for example one minute suppose nth term is tn equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 this we can write like this of common n square plus n now for example let us say this is sum to n terms sn so now the sn is given by you can apply sigma tn that means of common we can write uh, sigma n square plus sigma n we can write it so now let us come to the problem now the solution the problem solution this is the plan before going to the solved problem now here so now limit n tends to infinity we can write uh, <coughs> here half common out sigma n square by n cube plus sigma n by n square n cube sorry this you will get it so now so now I explain one shortcut to you, one important shortcut. Limit n tends to infinity. This is a shortcut you need to remember, everybody. Sigma n to the power of k by n to the power of k plus one is there. One by k plus one. This is one shortcut. Second shortcut you remember. लिमिट 
n tends to infinity this is n to the power of k for example, this will be n to the power of something less than k, k minus 1, k minus 2, whatever it may be, k minus 1, it will be 0. So, that means this becomes actually 1 by 3, already off is there, plus this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So, answer is 1 by 6. So, third option is the right option. So, this binomial no, I did not apply any binomial. Sivasankar, you are the new, you are new. Anybody give the schedule to them? Yes, not binomial, right. Thirty fourth question Limit x tends to one two minus x all to the power of tan of pi x by two equals to this is the question. Ramanaya Gogula, you are new to the class. Yes. First option e to the power of 1 by pi, second option e to the power of 2 by pi, third option e to the power of minus 2 by pi. Fourth option is E. This is the question. Okay. Yes, Dhruv Anshu can apply log on both sides. Yes, you can apply. If you want to leave the session, leave, do not chart unnecessarily and do not discourage others. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sandeep. Thank you. limit extends to 1 2 minus x all to the power of tan of pi by 2 x. For example, if you substitute the limit, you will be getting 2 minus 1 all to the power of tan of pi by 2. This appears to be 1 to the power of infinity form. This is the one of the indeterminate forms, 1 to the power of infinity form. So, whenever 1 to the power of infinity form, Okay. So, please concentrate all of you, please concentrate, today I will continue up to 9 30. Okay. So, now, so we have one formula, let me discuss, limit x tends to infinity f of x to the power of g of x which is in the form of 1 to the power of infinity form, then this we can write e to the power of g of x into f of x minus 1 limit x approaches to infinity, you remember this shortcut. So, now this is equal to we can write e to the power of limit x approaches to 1, anything you can write limit approach x approaches to a also we can write no problem. Limit x approaches to 1, here g of x is tan of 
pi x by 2 into f of x this is f of x this is f of x this is f of x 2 minus x minus 1. So, this equals to e to the power of limit x tends to 1 this will be 1 minus x by the tan pi x by 2 you can write cot of pi x by 2. Now, if you put the limit you will be getting 0 by 0 form you can apply L hospital's rule. So, that means differentiation of 1 minus x is minus 1 upon cot differentiation is minus cosecant square of pi x by 2 into pi x by 2 differentiation is pi by 2 here e to the power of limit x tends to 1 this minus minus gets cancelled. So, we have this will be 2 by pi 2 by pi if x is equal to 1 cosecant square pi by 2 is cosecant 91 this will be 1. So, you get e to the power of 2 by pi. So, here second option is the right option. Hare Krishna, if you want you can leave, right. <coughs> Thirty fifth question, limit x approaches to infinity a power 1 by x plus b power 1 by x plus c power 1 by x upon 3 all to the power of x equals to this question is very very important ok yesterday you uh, all of you requested me to continue up to 9 30 pm. So, that is why keeping you a fever equation. So, today I would like to continue. Shall I continue or shall I stop? Depends upon yourself only. Okay. So, first option is 0, second option is cube to root of ABC, third option is 1 by cube to root of a b c fourth option is 1 this is very very important uh, question this is very very important i will discuss in between some important problems also here please note down all of you note down c limit x approaches to 0 a power x plus b power x by 2 all to the power of 1 by x is root a b limit x approaches to 0 a power x plus b power x plus c power x by 3 all to the power of 1 by x. Now, you can expect the answer cube to root of a b c ok please note down limit x approaches to 0 a power x plus b power x plus c power x plus d power x upon 4 all to the power of 1 by x tell me what is the answer 
fourth root of a into b into c into d. Okay. Now, limit extends to 0. Now, 1 power x plus 2 power x plus 3 power x and plus so on dash dash n power x upon n all to the power of 1 by x. Tell me what is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer? Net problem. What is the answer? Your answer is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into so on dash dash into n and nth root. Am I correct now? So, this is nothing but product of the first n natural numbers, nothing but n factorial. So, that means nth root of n factorial or we can write nth root of factorial n. Okay. Yes, root over that is correct nth root of. So, this better you know down 1, 2, 3, this is 4 problems. In between in this I have discussed the 4 problems now. So, let us come to the now our problem now. What is the problem now? Here limit x approaches to infinity a to the power of 1 by x plus b to the power of 1 by x plus c to the power of 1 by x upon 3 all to the power of x. Here let us say this 1 by x equal to some capital X. See as x approaches to infinity this capital X approaches to 0. Now, we can change the problem. See this problem we can write as like this limit capital X tends to 0. This will be a power capital X plus b power capital X plus c power capital X upon 3. This small x is equal to we can write 1 by capital X already we have discussed this is cube to root of a b c that is all answer. So, here option is second option understood now some it is very very important problem we have discussed here. Yes, yes, even you can apply that also. Okay. Yes, in the one problem only we have discussed four problems. So, 36th problem net problem is for your side for, for our side limit n tends to infinity 1 plus sin a by n all to the power of n. First option E, okay, okay. Sir, can you please prepare day by day lesson schedule?
okay second is e to the power of a third is a to the power of e fourth is a see this problem very easy manner we can do it okay so now as n approaches to infinity this a by n tends to 0 as sin of a by n tends to 0 sin of a by n approximately equal to you can write a n now the problem becomes solution becomes like this limit n tends to infinity 1 plus a by n whole to the power of n. So, we have one formula limit n tends to infinity sorry x tends to infinity 1 plus a by x whole to the power of x is equal to e power a this e power a we can write same this is equal to e power a second option is the right option. Kanakala Sai, just you type 2, that is enough. Thirty seventh question If F of nine is equal to nine, F dash nine is equal to four, limit extends to 9 root of f of x minus 3 by root x minus 3 equals to this is the question. Danish actually you are new to my class please actually watch my previous video. video. So, that means actually in physics we might have applied when x is very very small the sin x is approximately equal to x. In the similar manner a by n is very very small sin of a by n equals to a by n that is only I have written. First option 4 yes we can neglect it we can neglect that is correct absolutely. 1 by 4, third is 1 by 2, fourth is minus 1 by 4. This is the question. Thank you, Dhruv. It means it is negligible. In that is actually in general we, we call errors and approximates also we shall discuss the same concept. F of 9 is equal to 9 f dash 9 is equal to 4 limit x tends to 9 root f of x minus 3 by root x minus 3 we need to find. Okay, now, the solution. So, limit x approaches to 9 root f of x minus 3 root x minus 3. First substitute the limit root f 9 minus 3 upon root 9 minus 3 f of 9 is equal to 9 root 9 is 3 3 minus 3 by 3 minus 3 0 by 0 form 0 by 0 form is indeterminate form we can apply L hospitals rule. 
एल एच रूल एल एच रूल दैट मीन्स न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर आर टू बी सेपरेटली डिफरेंशिएटेड सो डिरीवेटिव ऑफ रूट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज वन बाई टू रूट एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू डिरीवेटिव ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एफ डैश एक्स दैट शुड बी रिटर्न माइनस थ्री डिफरेंशिएशन जीरो इन द सिमिलर मैनर रूट एक्स डिफरेंशिएशन इज वन बाई टू रूट एक्स एंड माइनस जीरो दिस इक्वल्स टू लिमिट एक्स अप्रोचेस टू नाइन नाउ दिस कैन बी रिटर्न सो लिमिट इज अप्लाइड हियर वी हैव सो दिस वी कैन राइट एफ डैश एक्स बाई टू रूट एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू टू रूट एक्स बाई वन नाउ द लिमिट एक्सटेंड्स टू नाइन लेट इज अप्लाई द लिमिट एफ डैश नाइन by 2 root of f of 9 into 2 root 9 by 1 okay so now we get this is equal to f dash 9 is equal to 4 4 by f of 9 is equal to 9 root 9 is 3 into 6 4 by 6 Into here we have two into three six 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 cancel four. First option is the right option. so 38 problem f of 9 equal to 2 f dash a equal to 1 g of a equal to minus 1 g dash a equal to 2 then limit extends to a g of x into f of a minus g of a into f of x upon x minus a equals to first option first option 1 by 5 second option is 5 third option is minus 1 by 5 fourth option minus 5 Okay, now f of a equals to two, f dash a equals to one, g of a equals to minus one, g dash a equals to two. So that means if you substitute the values here, definitely you will get zero by zero form. So that means you need to apply LHS, LH rule. LH rule means g dash x into f of a constant minus g of a into f dash x upon x minus a differentiation is 
now limit x approaches to a this equal to g dash a into f of a minus g of a into f dash a. So, this equals to g dash a equal to 2 into f of a equals to 2 minus g of a equals to minus 1 into f dash a is equal to 1. So, this is 4 minus into minus plus 1 into 1 plus 1 equals to 5. So, this is the answer. Okay, now, tomorrow we shall continue. Okay. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Every day at least 10 or 20 minutes I will extend in the class. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Vanada. Bye bye. All of you subscribed? Okay, good night. Okay.